Can you imagine what it would be like to be given superpowers? One minute, you're scared to walk down the streets after 10 p.m. and carry a personal safety whistle wherever you go. The next, you're sprinting across rooftops, shooting lightning bolts from your fingertips and gliding across electrical wires. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But with all that power comes a decision. Do you save the city from the thugs and petty criminals roaming the streets? Or do you rule the citizens like the ordinary weaklings that they are? Never has it been so fun, so rewarding to be a superhero. Infamous seamlessly combines powerful moral choices with incredible freedom of movement and a kick-ass combat system, making you feel like the most powerful man in this crumbling world. At the beginning of the game, Cole is just an ordinary bicycle delivery man. When the package he is sent to deliver blows up, buildings explode, thousands of people get killed, and a terrible plague ravages the survivors. Oh God. But Cole actually grows stronger from this chaos. He miraculously gets superpowers and spends the rest of the game tracking down who set off this bomb in the first place. The story is well told, slowly bringing the conspiracy into focus, and the well-developed characters surrounding you make it even more engrossing. I did it for us, to make sure we're taken care of. I don't get you sometimes. The cutscenes are also pretty cool. They look like typical comic book panels at first, but thanks to some clever camera movements, they take on a fancy 3D appearance. All told, you will want to see where this intriguing tale winds up. Another reason the story is so darn cool is because you can shape it. During pivotal moments, the action will stop and Cole will spell out the choices in front of him. Does he let the starving citizens eat the government-supplied food? Or shoot a blast of lightning, scaring them away and keeping it for all his friends? Some of the decisions aren't so black and white. So you'll have to decide what kind of person you truly want to be and live with whatever consequences appear. The gameplay is just as incredible as the story. There's a real sense of freedom as you sprint across rooftops and shimmy up lampposts. The trick is, when you leap, you get drawn into any object that you can climb onto. So if you take a flying leap off a skyscraper, you can land on a thin electrical wire many stories below you with only moderate effort. The system is so easy to use, you'll be sprinting across the city at breakneck speeds, never slowing down for anything except to pump some bad guys full of electricity. You can scale buildings just as easily. Every window, drain pipe, and other fixture can be grabbed onto, making it fun to hightail it straight up a huge vertical surface. And when you unlock the ability to glide early in the game, things get even more exciting. There is a slight problem with the movement, though. Because you get sucked into every object, it makes it difficult to grab onto precise points on the map. For instance, if you need to drop down from the roof to the middle of a tall building, you'll often latch onto every window and pipe along the way. It's not a huge problem, but it's slightly annoying sometimes. The combat doesn't have any problems, though. You start with a deadly electrical blast, but you quickly earn more powerful and exciting moves to make the fighting an absolute blast. You get sticky grenades and a powerful missile attack, and combining them with your other moves is awesome. Combining your electrical attacks with your movement is also incredible. Sliding along an electrical wire while pelting the helpless people below you is a joy that never gets old. The missions are designed for you to take advantage of all of your different moves. There are a wide variety of mission types, from pure combat to depth exploration and everything in between, and it's a blast seeing what new objective the game will come up with. There are also side missions that clear out districts in the city when you finish them. There are 30 unique bad and good missions, depending on what side of the morality coin you choose, and there are some awesome surprises in store. The pacing in Infamous is also top-notch, doling out new missions, side quests, and abilities at such a steady rate that you always have something cool to check out. The one blemish in this otherwise incredible game is the visuals. They just aren't that hot. 
The buildings and roads have kind of a murky, ill-defined look, and there's plenty of pop-in when you're quickly moving across town. There are also some glitches, such as when coal will fall clean through a railing or other solid object. These problems don't detract from the fun of the game, but they are noticeable. The visuals aren't all jankety, though. Some aspects are well done. Cole animates really smoothly. Watching him climb buildings is pretty amazing. The lighting is also pretty sweet. During some parts of the game, you're stuck in the sewers, but the incredible lighting effects make it eerily inviting. The visuals are the only thing wrong with Infamous, and even they aren't bad. The combat is rewarding and intense. Moving around the city feels almost perfect, and the story will draw you in, make you care about this world. It will take about 30 hours to finish the quest your first time through, but Infamous is just so darn fun, and the moral choice is so intriguing that it's worth playing through again just to see the events play out from the other perspective. Infamous is one of the most exciting and engaging superhero games ever made.